What's up guys, Inigami here, and let's go to complete story mode guide for Shabari Archipelago. Uh, we are going to be using a double Mihawk slash team for stage one. Stage one will have us facing off all of the macro pirates. And we'll be fighting them one at a time, and then we'll be fighting them all three at the same time on the final stage. There is a new mechanic coming out with uh, Shabari, and that is Paralysis. And Paralysis is something new that... Uh, a lot of people have not met yet if you haven't gone through some Coliseum stuff that starts introducing paralysis and on the Japanese version of One Piece Shark Cruise This is the first time that we got to see paralysis in action or the first time that we even met paralysis What paralysis is and the way it works is it is uh, Just going to be like paralysis in Pokemon. It gives you a chance of not being able to attack and The chance of you not being able to attack depends on who is the one that's paralyzing you so stage two, we're already going to get our first mini boss. It's going to be Gyaro. Gyaro will attack every three turns, but he will preemptively lock your chain to 2.0. So if you're using a Rayleigh team. Rayleigh teams will have a tough time with them because you're not really going to be able to get much damage off on a Rayleigh team. And then after that, on stage four, we're going to get Macro, and then stage six, we're going to get Tansui, and then we're going to get all of them again on stage seven. I could have bought a couple turns there. Remember that the uh, combo limiter doesn't go away. If you're using a Rayleigh team, you can still beat this for a Rayleigh team. You just don't... Uh, you, you're just not going to be doing much damage for a while. You're going to have to wait a little bit for that. And stage 3 macro. He's going to be paralyzing us. If you want to stall until Golden Pond Usopp, this is a good time. Well, you, you should stall for Golden Pond Usopp before you get here. And there is the paralysis in action. If you get paralyzed, you lose the entire attack. You don't get to. Uh, you don't get to. Uh, get their food. If you have a recovery on them, you can't heal with them. You cannot do any damage to them at all. So there, our Dofi got to attack, and our. Um, Momonga did not. Rip Momonga. So there are multiple strategies with Paralysis. You can either start your attack with them and hope that a actually attacks. So that one actually attacked. Or you can just try to end your attack with them and hope you can actually end the attack with them. So this stage, on stage 1, actually a lot of people will have a lot of trouble with because of the 4,000 damage every single turn you're taking, basically. But if you can get past here, the rest of the island isn't too bad at all. I'm just gonna take damage. I'm just gonna go down to zero health. Because who needs health? I am using a thousand sunny. The reason I'm using a thousand sunny is because we are also, oh yeah, below 20% he locks for uh, five turns. And he'll also. Now he just locks for five turns below 20%. Tansui, who is the next one, if you get him below 20%, he'll attack you for 10,000 damage. They all do something bad below 20%. So I guess I'll just have to end up waiting for the lock. Oh well. Boop, 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 boop. So Tansui, he'll attack every two turns for 6,000 damage. And he'll also uh, prevent himself from dying for three turns. And there are a couple ways you can deal with it. Uh, one way you can deal with prevent from dying is to uh, just wait out. All right, not not wait. Uh, yeah, just to wait it out. The other way to do it is to get him down to one hit point and use some special ability that will kill him. So what I'll here is I'll use Mr. Three and get him to zero hit points, and I'll use a special ability. Either I'll I'll use a thousand sunny special here, I guess. No, I'll use yeah, I can use a thousand sunny here. And then on the next stage, since we're going to get all of them together, we are going to have to have something else that deals special damage again. So we've gotten to one hit point. And anything that deals damage will kill him. In this case, we'll use Thousand Sunny. And yes, you can use abilities like Sugar. Sugar will still also kill through the paralysis, I mean, through the cannot be killed effect. So now, since we got all three of them, we have to deal with all three of them at once. Chain, lock, and paralysis, and cannot be killed. Use Golden Pond Usopp here. It makes life a lot easier. I'm only going to use one Mihawk. 
And then I'll use the other Mihawk to kill Tansui next turn. Yeah, any effects that deal any damage at all will kill. As long as it's not a regular attack. Regular attacks are the only thing that cannot kill. So this will bring them. This should be able to kill all of them. I don't know why I'm attacking there. There we go. And never mind. I guess I'll leave Tansui alive. Alright. Let's do some punchy. Two, three, four. Come on, Momonga. Momonga, why won't you attack? I just want him down. Ba, 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 da, da. There we go. Alright. So now he's at one hit point, and since he's at one hit point, even though Mihawk is a percent health cut, still deals one damage to him, and that's all we need. Just one damage. Next, we'll see you guys on Stage 8. Stage 8, or Chapter 8, is gonna be St. Charlos. St. Charlos is our first farmable 6-star character from Story Mode, unless you count Princess Turtles. It's not that he's good, he's just a character that you can get. Let's use, let's use Int Mihawk Friend this time around. Where are my Int Mihawks? There we go. Int Mihawk Friend. And once again, double Mihawk Slashers. You can use any teams for this, guys. The fight is very easy. It's just fun to look at our first 6 star character. And we're on stage 6 of St. Charles, but I want to bring up that these little green, this guy, green guy in the suit here, if you ever see him, what he'll do is he will, if on his turn 2, it doesn't matter if he still hasn't attacked yet or not, like he still had a 2 turn cooldown there, on his turn 2, he'll increase the cooldown of whatever's weak to him, or whatever he's weak against by several turns. So, he would have increased the cooldown of my Arlong's uh, special for several turns, which isn't that bad. I'm not really going to be using Arlong, but it is annoying to deal with. St. Charles has basically no health. I uh, hear he's a very strong character, but he has a 99 hit combo for one turn, and he'll attack you for 2,100 damage. So all we're going to do is, if you are on the Japanese version, you could use a Law here, or you can just kill all the guys around him first, and then kill him later on. So I'll use Rob Lucci just because I can. It's more fun to use our specials. If we stall them, we might as well use them. And then Dofi. Let's see. I can move. Ah, perfect. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, no. I messed up my attacks. I wanted to kill all of them in a single turn. Now it takes me two turns. I'm so bad at this game. Oh, look at that crazy damage. And he'll continue to reapply that hit barrier until all the guys around him are dead. Which is unfortunate. I would have liked to kill him next turn. But I'm just bad at hitting get perfects. You can also use Speed Jiru. That is true. Speed Jiru will remove the barrier. Oh no. What are you gonna do? Wow. Dangerous. Now he's green. But you just kill him. It doesn't matter. See you on stage 9. Chapter 9 is gonna be Law. Yes, we'll have another Saint here on this stage, but Saints don't really matter. Law is the one we're gonna care about. Since Law is a Saint character, we're gonna be using a side team. But I'm gonna be using Sengoku Momonga. So that's a more fun side team to use than just like double Garp or something like that. Or Garp Shanks, which you're more than welcome to use. Or you can just use your double Mihawk Slashers. And then on our final stage, we have Law. Yes, Law. He's going to have about 1 million health. He's going to attack us every two turns for 6,000 damage. He'll preemptively clear all of your positive buffs. So if you had a positive buff in a previous turn, it will be gone. And then he will prevent himself from taking any debuffs for 99 turns. If you get him below 50% health, he will despair your friend captain for 99 turns. So watch out for that below 50% health mark. Uh, we only really have one matching orb here. I'm going to use my breed. He boosts his own damage, but it's mostly so that way I can hopefully get some more matching orbs next turn. 
when I'll use my Dofi and Momonga together. So Breed's damage is still going to be less than my Psy character's matching orbs. Not getting him below 50% health. And a few matching orbs, that's good. Oh, he also gives his attack rate down. That Does he? Hmm. Oh, he would have given us attack rate down if we didn't already have attack rate down from the previous stage. The girl on the previous stage gave us the lowered attack. And since we already had our attack lowered, Law doesn't get to lower our attack. Thank you, Law. Uh, don't forget that if you're using Suru like I am, you can use Suru to reshuffle your orbs. T-Bone, why not do damage just for funsies? And Law goes down pretty easy. First time drop! There we go. We did get, however, our new 6-star character. Which is lots of fun. I mean, sort of fun. It's not the character drop I was looking for. We got it. We got Saint Roswald? There he is. There's that gold paint poster. For anyone wondering if the Saints drop as reds or golds. Saint Roswald, what a wasted drop. Chapter 10 is gonna be Kid. Kid is a blue character, so we're gonna be bringing a, once again, double Mihawk slasher team. Kid will have one turn of a 25 hit barrier, and you can uh, bring people with high combos to get through the barrier. For example, if you wanna have fun, you can use a double Buffalo team, which is like a Rayleigh team with high hit combos. Or you can just wait that turn, take one hit from him, so that's only 4,000 damage, and then kill him on the next turn. Kid will preemptively empty all your orbs, and I said earlier that he attacks for 3,900, but he actually will first attack you for 9,000 damage, and then his second turn attack will be for 3,900 damage. And if you get him below 20%, he will also attack you for 7,800. So just take that hit. If you have a Kuma, it's a great time to use Kuma here on turn two so you can get matching orbs. Because he will always be giving you bomb, tandem, and food orbs after that first hit. So use a Kuma, gives you some good orbs. But we're just gonna use a bunch of health cuts and then kill him after that. Thank you so much. Double finger, boosting my dex attacks. Remember that if you're hitting with bombs, the bombs can still kill you. So don't hit greats with the bombs. Bombs will do 10% of your max hit points in damage. That's funny. Why not? Might as well use everything I get. And no reason for me to use my Doflamingo. Goodbye, kid. And then the final stage of Saori is gonna be uh, Sentomaru. Sentomaru is a side character, so we're gonna use a Rayleigh Sadie team. Where are you, my Ray Bays? There you guys are. Uh, she, ha or he, no, he has a 20 hit barrier. So you wanna use characters with a few, a few characters with high combo hits. For example, I'm gonna be doing Duval and Golden Pound Usopp. Also, Golden Pound Usopp will help you delay. So, Duval, Golden Pound Usopp will take away the first. 14 hits, a couple more characters for a couple more hits, and then we will actually only damage him with the last few characters. Something I didn't mention earlier is all the Pasifisas you'll meet here will all attack you for just over 10,000 damage they attack. Uh, the first one you'll see will be the blue one, he'll be on stage one. I, I'm sorry, the green one will be on stage one. He will heal for 50,000 damage every turn, and well, he won't attack until the fifth turn. So either be ready to take an attack from him and attack, uh, kill him before he attacks every three turns or kill him before he attacks on that fifth turn. After that, you'll have a stage in between every single pacifista. So you can use a Golden Pound Usopp to delay yourself in between each one. The blue one will numb your friend captain for five turns. The yellow one will, every two turns, shuffle all your orbs to badly matching except for recovery and tandem orbs. And then the purple one here will have a two turn perfect hit barrier. And these mechanics that you see with the pacifistas will be the same ones you see on any pacifista from here on out. So, for example, later on we're going to see pacifistas on... 
raid boss Kizaru, and the raid boss Kizaru Pacifistas will have the same mechanics as well. Green is healing, blue is paralysis, yellow is gives you badly matching orbs, purple being yeah, having great hit barriers, or having a, some kind of barrier, perfect hit barriers. And then we have Sentomaru. Sentomaru has a 20 hit barrier for 20 turns and limits any damage taken by over 100,000 damage greatly. So we're basically going to deal only 100,000 damage at a time. Sentomaru will attack every two turns for 6,800 damage. We can use Golbahan Usopp and Duval and Mr. One to help reduce those damages. We can use Breed here to help get some more matching orbs. And once you get him below 20% health, he will uh, half your health and then attack for 6,800 damage. And it's every two turns he does his 6,800 damage attack. One, two, three. Duval will get through. I actually should have attacked with Breed last. What am I doing? Silly, silly me. Now I was thinking of just using Breed us for his uh, orb matching rate up. If you have special abilities that hit for multiple turns, which ones that don't come out but do do it are, for example, Nightmare Luffy. Nightmare Luffy's special ability hits for multiple turns. Every single, or multiple hits. Every single one of those hits counts as one hit against the combo shield barrier right there. If you use a special like Duval's or Rayleigh's or Mihawk's, all those specials only deal one damage to the combo shield. So there's defense boost when he gets below 50%. Two, three, and we'll use Duval here, reduce damage taken. Nightmare Luffy is not out yet. I was just saying, and I even just said if he's not out. I even just said he's not out yet, but... We'll be able to kill Sentomaru in two more turns, actually, I think. Half health. Thanks. Ba -da -da -da. Sentomaru is a very annoying fight to get through. And we'll use Mr. One. Oh, we gotta take him out this turn. You know what? Why not? We'll use Rayleigh 2 for one hit of damage. Look at that! Oh my gosh, so much damage. So good. If you're using a team like the Funk Brothers, yep, that works out great because you want to be using high combo hit characters against with the Funk Brothers anyways. Right there. Just enough to get rid of Sun tomorrow. Guys, that's the entire Shabody story mode island. It's very long. Sun tomorrow in particular is a very long fight. It's not the hardest fight in the world if you bring a couple of people to reduce damage or just bring a Golden Pound Usopp to... Uh, stall out all the pacifistas, but the pacifistas are all pretty tanky. It will take a while for you to clear, and Sentomaru himself is no exception. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck, and y'all stay beautiful.